not found. <laughs> uh. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Hyphens Classics. It's the Land Rover again today, and if you remember in the previous episode, we were down at ANT Motors having this thing checked out. I want, while you don't need an MOT, I wanted to make sure this thing was safe. If you remember when we were watching the episode, there were some issues with the drivetrain. So today, what we're going to do is put it up in the air, and we're going to see if we can find out what's wrong. Right, it's up in the air. Now, let's go around each one of the wheels and see what we get. So, near side front, moves okay this way. Okay. Okay, there you go, there's part of the problem. Stopping, it's like it won't go backwards. Forwards again, goes backwards and stops. Let's see what the other side's doing. So, far side front, got some good movement going forwards, hmm. backwards no problem, okay. This one seems alright, but there's definitely something going on with the near side. Let's go and have a look at the back, and see what's going on in the back here. Far side front, uh, rear, oh, okay, well that's just not moving at all. We're going to have to whip that one off and just make sure the brakes aren't binding. But anyway, that's definitely not moving. Let's go try the uh, near side on the back. Okay, try forwards. Got a bit of movement. Nothing backwards. Nope. That one's not working either, is it? Right. So far, if you know, uh, you've got any experience with what this might be, Please start writing in the comments so uh, we can uh, try and work out what's going on. But what we're going to do now, we're going to drop the prop shafts from here, see if we can isolate this from the gearbox, uh, from the diff. Right, now you've got a good view of the uh, front prop shaft. What we're going to do is we'll start on the far side, which was good, and you see what you get. So. Wheels turning forwards in this one, stop, and now we're putting it backwards. So as you can see, the prop shaft moves when the wheel's going forward, but stops on the way back. Right, we'll go on the other side where we had the issues. I've got the wheel now, turning it forwards, and turning it backwards, and then it jams up. So I'll just quickly go forwards quite a lot again, see if we can unlock it, and go backwards. But as you can see, while, it, while that wheel is stopping, the prop shaft is still doing exactly the same as with the good wheel. Now I'll get under there, undo the uh, prop shaft and see if we can isolate the diff and see if it's the diff that's causing the problem. Kind of looks like it, but let's double check. Before we go del delving too much more into what's going on the front, because the back's completely locked up and I'm pretty sure there could be an influence there, I'm going to take these wheels off, take the drums off and let's see, make sure that the brakes aren't causing a problem back here. So let's go. see what this one does before we take it off. Okay, maybe the brakes are still stuck on that one, I'm pretty sure. Well, we just got the diff working on that, one, that side now. So maybe we do have some brake issues. That's an interesting one. Another thing to look at. Yeah. 
Right, we get the drum off. That seems to be... Oh, that was interesting. Got a bit of movement there for a minute. up out of the dirt. I'm getting some movement there, it's interesting. Or annoying. Oh, see that? That came off that came off too easy for me to say I think that was brakes to be fair. Uh, again, keep those comments coming. There, now look at that. I guess that smacks to me as if it might have been brakes. I guess the next thing is what's happening on the other side when I do this. I know what, we'll get the cameraman to go around the other side. I'll do some movement here and see if we get some movement over there. So currently I'm forwards movement. In fact, I can see the shadow on the ground of that one moving. So. That's reverse, we've also got movement. Right, what I'm gonna do now is go up to the front again and see if the issue's still the same at the front. So I'm at the front near side, which would go forwards but wouldn't go backwards very much. Forwards again, looking good. Backwards, uh, still something going on there. Again, in the comments, is this normal? It won't go backwards at all now. Back over the other side. See if we can unlock it, see if we can make it move. So this one still goes no problem. Forwards. Oh, there's a bit of a uh, bit of sticky stuffy stuff. There's a bit of stickiness there when but it released and it's gone. That one's going backwards. Again, let's try this. Forwards, yes. Okay, this one goes backwards and locks up. Doing the same thing. Okay, so due to a number of reasons, uh, there's a bit of content that I seem to have been missing from uh, this episode. And just do a bit of fill-in for you. Obviously, we've done the investigation. We've seen that there are uh, a number of issues with, with three of the wheels, right? Um, specific, and, and the majority seems to be coming from the rear end. Uh, that you know they just lock up completely. So we've taken all of the three drums off, so the two rears and the front and rear side. I've taken the, the brake drums off to have a look. And in the next footage here, you can see how, and we're looking at the front um, brakes now, um, we can see there's a couple of things. I think, A, we can see that the, uh, the pads are hitting at the top predominantly. Uh, they do go around a little bit, but it's predominantly in the top. And also, there's wear on the inside here as well, not on the outside. So there's a couple of things. One is the steady post. That, there's that little post that holds the, that sits on the brake um, pad there. So I'm thinking on this one here, uh, if I adjust that slightly, just to you know, drop the brake pad in closer towards the back plate there, hopefully that will help. I'll check, I need to check all of the, um, what I'll do is go around and check all of them and make sure that, um, that that's not an issue on some of the others. In, this, in the images of the rear, uh, rear near side, it looks a little bit like actually the wear's more on the outside. So that to me makes me think that that pad needs to be pushed out slightly. So anyway, that could be something. Now, there's also, and excuse me, James, if I say your surname wrong, but James Krasnitzer um, uh, commented on uh, the previous episode where we were talking about the brakes and said that one of the things he had was the, um, uh, the pivot bolt um, at the bottom, so the bolt that the, the both pads sit on to at the bottom there. He said you get a big spanner and loosen that off, and um, uh, and then hit the hit the brakes a couple of times, uh, and it helps just push things around a little bit, and hopefully settle them properly up against the cylinders. So um, the brake drums, sorry, that's something else I might might have a go at as well. Um, obviously, since I filmed all this, uh, the the car has been running. What I did do, and again, unfortunately, didn't film uh, because I think I came back later to do this. Was um, I did just. 
I did get a bit of sandpaper, like sandpaper, and sandpa uh, ran, ran over the top of the pads there, where we can see their binding, and I did loose them back just a smidgen uh, on the snail. Um, and this is, this is, it's worked, right? The, as in, worked as in the brake, the car now moves freely, uh, forwards, backwards, there's no binding, there's no locking up. So it was definitely the brakes that were the issue, which is a positive thing in my view, because the thought of what else it could have been um, would have been, I think, a lot harder to deal with. Um, you know, whether it was a diff or whether it was something in the gearbox, that would have been a major pain to have to overhaul and, and try and find the problem. So while uh, it's annoying, it, it, this is probably the best out of uh, all the possible issues that could have occurred. So that was the investigation. This is what we've found. Uh, so again, I hope you find this uh, video very useful. Uh, thank you again for all the comments. I think there was also uh, Liam Morris um, also had a very good suggestion uh, around checking the um, the rod in the in the master cylinder and make sure that all the adjustments there were allowing it to come back out again. So obviously when you take your foot off the brake, um, are the spring rates, etc., and all the adjustments you have on there enough to uh, pull that right out and allow the the mass cylinder to sort of go slack and let all the fluids back in, out into the into the cylinder. So, uh, good suggestion. I did check that. So thank you very much, Liam, for that. It was brilliant. Um, I did check it, uh, and everything seemed good at that end. Uh, but it, I think looking at looking here, I think we can see where the issues are, and I will be. Um, Okay, at the moment the, the vehicle is, is usable, I have been driving it, uh, but I, I've got this feeling that the brakes should be just a little bit better than they are. Uh, they work fine, um, but you know they're not, they're not as good as I would expect. Now, and I do also realise that I don't expect to uh, compare them to a modern car with disc brakes or anything like that. Um, and I, but I do know drum brakes can be very good um, and I do expect that obviously if I want to be able to just absolutely jump on the brakes that the car is going to stop in, a, in a, a fairly short distance and not sort of you know sit there and count on your fingers as it slows down. Anyway that will be all for now. Thanks very much again for watching uh, and we'll see you in the next episode. Take care in this lockdown guys. Stay safe. Bye bye.